recently transported one of our animals to a new zoo for a very exciting reason. And to help tell us a little bit more about that is our veterinarian, Dr. Moreno. Alexis, we're standing right in front of our taper habitat because one of them just made a little trip. What yeah. happened with him? Yeah, he and I made a very long trip um, across the country. So Ebo, our young calf, our latest calf, was transferred to Milwaukee County Zoo for uh, very exciting reasons, and that was for breeding purposes. Now, he was born here at our zoo, and finally it kind of reached that age where we start looking for a new place for him. And as you said, a breeding opportunity in Milwaukee Zoo. How do we transport a taper? <laughs> yeah, so there's a lot of logistics that go into that, but because this is such a special species, there's only about 3,000 left in the world. Um, we really cross our T's and dot our I's, so to speak. So uh, myself and another supervisor drove Ebo across country in a special air-conditioned van, and that's so that I could have access to him at all times, be able to feed him, monitor him, and make sure that um, he was traveling well. And then, I mean, that's a big trip for you guys and for him. And then he enters into this new zoo, and um, then he's going to get introduced. Um, why, why is this such an important thing? You talked about that these are endangered species. Why is this such an important thing, not only for our zoo to be able to participate in this, uh, but also for uh, the taper species? I, I mean, really, it's all about our mission in general. And so again, there are very few left in the world, let alone in the wild. And so Reed Park has been successful in being able to breed our pair. Milwaukee County Zoo now has two of their own, and we transferred our boy up there to get a breeding recommendation to hopefully continue the species and continue their survival. Well, this is very exciting news, and um, Contessa is our female, uh, Tupi is our male that is still here, yep. um, but another successful birth for them, raising that, uh, that offspring, and now a new generation, hopefully to happen in the future to again be able to continue that species. So really cool. Thank you for all the information about Ebo. And if you guys want any more information about tapers or anything else going on here at the Reed Park Zoo, you can always go to our website at reedparkzoo.org and check it out there. That's going to do it for this episode. I'm Jed Dodds bringing the zoo to you. Thank you.